Hey everybody. So I was just sitting here and I thought about story time. I remember somebody just asked me, have I ever seen them? And yeah, yeah. Um, I remember feeling the overwhelming sensations of little bites and 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 you look down that depends on what clothing you're wearing too if you're wearing something that's um lighter you could see the little black dots i used to like have a field day at picking them out on my clothes but yeah just look at your sheets have have like i used to sleep on um taupe color sheets and what was obsessive about it was that i couldn't really rest because i was busy like flicking them off or like not flicking them off but getting the tape or the lint roller i still have a big old lint roller to this day um yeah just just getting them off of me or getting them off because i just realized you know you know what i've seen is that no matter where you go they come into you they're flocking towards you so that messes with your mental too because you could be laying in a bed and you just cleaned off this bed and everything is supposed to be nice and just ready for you. And next thing you know, you look down and you see something moving towards you. You can't really see it moving, but you notice that there's a dot there. But it's coming towards you. Different dots are coming towards you. So you're like, oh my gosh, I thought I was done with this. Or I thought I was going to get some relief today. But yeah, um, somebody wrote me and they just brought me back to thinking like, That moment in my life was one of the worst moments of my whole life. And I, I've i been here before. So it's almost like when you guys tell me your stories, I, I feel for you. My heart goes out to you because I know the frustration that was there and the self-doubt, you know. But I want you all to be strong and... You can get through this and you will get through it. It's just a process and you have to eliminate the nest first. Find out where the nest is and then get rid of that. And then you can start treatment. Um, my suggestion to this last person was to take samples, get clear tape, and, um, and, and, and use that and take samples and send it to your states. Um, like in Texas, they had um, Texas A&M. They have a pest control, um, uh, I want to say department, where they identify species. That's basically what you need. You need somebody to identify what you have going on because it could very well be something outside, out of, outside of being bird mites. It could be anything else. So your, your best bet is to take some samples and send it to your state's um, department or where they identify species because think about it exterminators when they're when they're stuck and they don't know what something is they, that's what they do that's exactly what they do every state has one you just have to find yours and i hope this helps somebody but i just wanted y'all to know that i'm here for all your emails i'm here for questions i'm here for whatever you have for me i'm here with you okay all right, well, you guys have a good day, and thank you guys for liking the video, and some of you subscribers, I want to say thank y'all. <laughs> I'm from New I'm not from Texas, so that y'all, I don't know where that came from. Maybe I've been here for too long, but thank you guys. All right, bye.